Hello and welcome to this video again on Gran Turismo Sport. Today we're going to be having a look at the Audi R18, uh, the Group 1 car, and how we save the battery with it and why we need to do it. So if you don't know already, some of the Group 1 cars are hybrids. So they have obviously the, the main combustion engine and then they've got additional electric power that they can use throughout the lap as well. So the driver can't control this and it deploys automatically. And some cars such as the Toyota, they regenerate the battery when on the brakes and also when off throttle. However, with the Audi, you can only regenerate the battery power when you're uh, on the brakes. So we're gonna take a look at how you do this and how you effectively manage the battery as it's a very, very fast car if you can do it right but if you can't do it right you're probably going to be better off driving the Toyota so we're at Spa and this week is a bit of an unusual one because we've got the daily races at Spa in Group 1 and then Nations Cup on the Saturday is also Spa Group 1 so it's a good way to practice driving these cars getting used to the track and yeah getting a bit of a, a step ahead for the Nations Cup okay so first of all we're gonna have a look at how much difference it makes uh, saving the battery versus not saving the battery. So if you look into the middle of the speedometer down in the bottom left hand side you'll see where the battery gauge icon is and we're going to cross this line then to begin a new lap having not saved the battery on the previous one. So what I want you to do is watch the delta time as we head out of turn one. So turning into turn one we get a reasonably good exit we're more or less level on the delta but now the battery is empty and if you, you look at that time on the Delta now, it's just going up and up and up. So as we get to the start of our Rouge, we're already half a second down and this time is just going to carry on increasing right up until the end of the straight and by the time we get there, we've lost nearly three quarters of a second. So a huge amount of time and if you're doing this in qualifying, you're going to lose, you know, you're going to be quite far down the grid. So how do we... Uh, regenerate the battery for the start of a flying lap in qualifying then well this is what we do so as we get onto the back straight what we're going to do is keep planted with our right foot on the throttle and then we're going to put the brakes on at the same time just a little bit about a quarter pressure and if you look at that icon now you'll see the battery is recharging the whole time and that means that when we start our flying lap we have a well a relatively charged battery it's as charged as it can be coming out of the final corner so having a look at the delta once again then and you can see we're actually up on our previous uh, lap that we set uh, two laps ago so we haven't lost any time and we're you know like i said earlier we're nearly well well over half a second faster than the lap that we didn't save the battery for so next up, we're going to have a look at why it's important to also regenerate the battery during the race. And then we're going to have a look at how we do it. So you can see here, we're on lap one. I'm following very, uh, very closely behind the car up ahead of the Italian. Looks like we could go for a move here, but we're not going to. We're just going to back off a little bit, braking nice and early. And we've saved the battery a lot on this previous lap. And just watch this here. So if, as we go across the start finish line, he runs out of battery and we just breeze past him as if we're in a completely different category altogether. So what we're going to do then is have a look at just how we save the battery over the course of this lap. So of course, going through our rouge, we're going to stay flat out, trying to shift up to six just before the top of the hill. Um, it's just the fastest way to do it. I think the Audi, if you shift just at the end of the rev limiter, you get the most benefit. Uh, but anyway, coming down into this corner then, we're going to brake very early, but keep flat on the throttle and then come off the throttle a little bit later than we normally would. So it's a bit like lifting and coasting, except you're using the brakes instead. And again, coming to here, you'll see we'll brake and then lift off a fraction later. So we're braking earlier than we would on a qualifying lap and then we're lifting off later than we would on a qualifying lap. Okay, because you're going to start slowing your the car down before you get to the corner. So again, Come in here, you'll see we'll just dab on the brakes and then come off the throttle a little bit later than normal. So come in through Puon then, very, very fast of course. And again, on the brakes early, then coming off the throttle a little bit later. 
Another thing to bear in mind is that the braking regeneration is more powerful if you put the brake balance towards the rear. So I'm running with uh, brake balance three to the rear in qualifying and then four to the rear during the race. So the, the more to the rear you have, um, you'll be able to charge the battery just that little bit more. So as we head around the final part of the lap then, and this is the most crucial part to regenerate the battery for, um, because you're gonna lose the most time coming out of turn one. So on the brakes, nice and early, lifting off late again, through the final corners, making sure you don't stamp on the accelerator and go wide there. It's very, very easy to do because the power does come from the rear wheels. And then braking very early for turn one and really, really just keep that throttle on and then lifting off at the last moment to get around the corner. And you can see as we come out of turn one then, once we get up to the right speed, we've still got battery left going onto the back straight. And that's what you want to be able to do. If you've run out of all your battery, coming down the hill into our route, you're going to struggle again on the next lap. So you need to make sure you're in a sort of a, a rhythm of charging the battery every single lap. So I hope this video has helped. If you've got any questions about anything that I've said in the video, please post them below. And if you found it useful, give it a like. Good luck, obviously, if you are racing in the Nations Cup this weekend. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.